Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the field of lithography technology, ASML, a Dutch company, has a leading position in the global lithography market, and this key technology has become an important tool for the United States and European countries to block China's scientific and technological progress. Faced with the joint attack of the United States and the Netherlands, China chose another path, strengthening independent research and development, investing 180 billion yuan in the semiconductor field, and promoting the independent development of the domestic chip industry. First of all, we need to understand the background of the current situation. Lithography is the core equipment for semiconductor production, especially the high-end extreme ultraviolet lithography EUV, whose technology is only mastered by ASML in the Netherlands. China's semiconductor industry has developed rapidly in recent years and has huge demand, but due to the interference of the United States, ASML has not been able to sell the most advanced EUV lithography to China for many years, which has brought great resistance to China's chip industry. The Netherlands has benefited greatly from the Chinese market, but as the pressure from the United States increases, the Netherlands has to choose between economic interests and political pressure. Recently, the Netherlands announced that it would further restrict the export of lithography machines. Although China was not explicitly mentioned, the target country is obviously China. The United States has long launched a global technological blockade against China. Not only lithography machines, the United States has also tried to slow down the pace of China's technological development by restricting the export of key technologies and equipment such as advanced chips and semiconductor materials. The intention of the US-Netherlands joint efforts is obviously to continue to deepen the containment of Chinese technology. Although the Netherlands has strengthened its export restrictions on lithography machines to China, ostensibly for security considerations, the real purpose is to cooperate with the US global strategy. In an interview, ASML's CEO even publicly stated that restrictions on exports to China have gone beyond the scope of security and are completely a technological blockade of China. From an economic perspective, the Chinese market is vital to ASML. According to statistics, ASML's revenue in the Chinese market has approached 49% of the company's total revenue and this proportion is still rising. The huge demand in the Chinese market has made ASML a lot of money, so the Netherlands' move is tantamount to smashing the pot to eat. However, the US suppression of China's technology has forced the Netherlands to give up its immediate economic interests and choose to stand with the United States to jointly contain China. It can be said that in this game, the Netherlands is more subject to US pressure than its own security considerations. Faced with the blockade by the United States and the Netherlands, China did not sit idly by, but chose to take the initiative to accelerate the development of the domestic semiconductor industry. According to media reports, the Chinese government has decided to invest 180 billion yuan in research and development and production in key areas such as semiconductor equipment and materials. This move is not only a powerful response to the technological blockade by the United States and the Netherlands, but also a firm signal that China is promoting independent innovation in science and technology. In the field of semiconductors, Chinese companies have made significant progress in recent years. Domestic companies such as SMIC, North Huatuang, and China Micro have become an important force in the global semiconductor industry. Although China still faces certain technical bottlenecks in high-end chip manufacturing, 
with the injection of 180 billion yuan of funds, China's semiconductor industry is expected to achieve faster breakthroughs. In addition, China has also broken its dependence on external supply chains by improving its independent innovation capabilities. For example, the manufacturing technology of domestic lithography machines has gradually matured. Although there is still a gap with ASML's advanced technology, the rise of domestic equipment has begun to emerge. Domestic companies have not only accelerated research and development in equipment, but have also made great progress in semiconductor materials, packaging and testing. The joint technological blockade of China by the United States and the Netherlands is ostensibly intended to maintain its own technological hegemony and prevent China from gaining a dominant position in the semiconductor field. However, this blockade policy also faces the risk of self-inflicted. First, the demand in the Chinese market is huge, especially in the field of semiconductor equipment. According to statistics, in the first half of 2024, the amount of semiconductor equipment imported by China reached 163.9 billion yuan, a year-on-year -year increase of 51.5%. In sharp contrast, except for the Chinese market, semiconductor equipment sales in other parts of the world have fallen sharply. In other words, the growth of the global semiconductor market is almost entirely dependent on China. If the United States and the Netherlands continue to impose a blockade on China, they will inevitably lose the world's largest growth market. In the long run, the United States and the Netherlands will not only fail to benefit from the Chinese market, but will force China to accelerate its pace of independent innovation. For ASML, the risk of losing the Chinese market is undoubtedly huge, because China has become one of its most important customers. Secondly, the blockade policy has also made Western companies miss opportunities for cooperation. In the field of semiconductors, technology is constantly iterating and updating, and the blockade will only make Chinese companies more aware of the importance of independent research and development. Once China makes breakthroughs in areas such as lithography machines, the blockade policy of the United States and the Netherlands will completely fail, and Western countries will lose a huge market for cooperation. Judging from the current situation, although the technological blockade of the United States and the Netherlands has brought challenges to China, it has also made China more determined to innovate independently. The huge investment of 180 billion means that China will no longer rely on external technology and will accelerate the transformation from passive attack to active attack in the future. China's semiconductor industry has gradually grown from an initial follower to an important member of the global technological competition. Although it still needs to face the blockade and suppression of the United States and other countries in the short term, in the long run, it is only a matter of time for China to achieve full autonomy of the industrial chain through independent research and development. In the future, the technological competition between China and the United States will continue to escalate, but this competition also provides more opportunities for China. By increasing investment in high-tech fields, such as semiconductors, China is expected to occupy a more important position in the global technological landscape. In general, although the current situation is full of challenges, China has shown the world its firm determination to innovate independently through the 180 billion yuan investment plan. In the future, with the further development of the domestic semiconductor industry, China will gain more voice in the global technological competition. Please like if you agree, and welcome to Forward, leave a message and share.